You want to go to the app store, press search, and then type in pocket video. Now mine's is already installed, but if not, install yours. So I'm just going to open mine and press start new project. Now you can choose from which type you want, but I'm going to click YouTube blog. And I'm going to press the add button. And then I'm going to choose title. Now you can choose from either one of these. They have colors, abstract, nature, city, and many more. Just choose which one you want. Now if you scroll down, you can see they have different gifts that you can choose from. So once you find yours, whatever background you chose, it should be there. I'm going to delete the text and then press add text. You can add dynamic. They have banners, memes, captions, chat bubbles, and many more. Once you see the kind of text you want, just click on it to add it. So you can center your text how you want it. And when you finish, press done. Click on fonts. And you can go through the fonts that they have and choose which one you think fits your video best or whatever font you're looking for. So you can choose any font you want, but I'm going to go back and choose the original font and press the check mark when you're done. So now you can click on color and choose the color that you want your text to be. For this one, I'm just gonna go with a purple, but you can play around with it and choose your own. If you move the marker over, you can see how the text will look with your video. And this is how it looks so far. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna press the add button again. And this time we're gonna add something from the camera roll. Add a video that you wanna use. And I'm gonna use two videos of Eliza Taylor. Once you click on your first clip, you have the option to pick a filter. So you can just go through the filters and choose which one you want, but I'm gonna keep mine as original. The doodlies that you usually see um, on videos can be added on this app by pressing sketch. When you press sketch, you can choose color and go ahead and choose the color you want it to be. Make sure yours is on brush. Go to size and then you can choose which size you want your brush to be. Now move the clip all the way to the beginning and as you start doing the doodle, you will notice that the clip also moves. So once you play it back, it's supposed to move along with the doodle that you just did. So now on the second video, I'm going to click sticker, press add, and then you can just go through and choose whatever sticker you want. I went to social and clicked on Vine since these are her Vine videos. Use your fingers to pinch the sticker and move it how you want it. So your video should look like this so far. So now I'm going to go back to the first clip and press text. I can add a text. 
So once you add your text, just type in what you want. Again, you can send to it how you want to and press done. Press the button that says up and then you can move it up. And if you press the one that says down, you can move it down and just place it where you want it. And I'm also going to change the font. You can click on font, change your font, click on color, and then choose the color you want. I'm going to keep my color white. So this is how it should look from the beginning. volume and you can control the volume of the clip. So where the music note is, just press the add button and then you can choose from either one of these. But for this video, I'm going to go to my iTunes library and then I'm just going to choose a Taylor Swift song from 1989. So once you add the song, it should automatically be under the clips. When you play the video, the music should play along with it. So for this second clip, I just went back and I pressed sticker again, and then I press add. I just chose to press the iPhone icon. So then once I play the actual clip back, the phone should move while the video is playing. When you're done, just press finish and then the video is going to render. It's going to render however many clips or titles you have. So since I have three, mine is out of three. So now you can just press OK. You can either save it to your camera roll or not. You can make it private and you can also choose a thumbnail. At this point, you can choose whether or not you want to upload it to YouTube. And that's it.